Um, this is actually the second time I've done this. The first time um, it was going through the process of um, getting my DNA extracted. Um, if you hear someone, it's my son. He's um, sitting right here next to me. But my DNA was getting extracted and then this pop-up came um, after at least three weeks of it you know being in the same status and it said unable to extract you'll need to do a new one so then they sent me this new kit um so i was like okay great i don't i hope this one works out because i don't want to wait another like three four weeks and then find out it didn't take like i don't even know how that works um but if you haven't seen one yet this is what the box is that says welcome to you open it up and this is what you see it says hi let's get started um it says we are excited for you to begin this journey and we want you to know we are here to help whether it's questions about our service or how to get you started we have resources available to help you and they have their customer care email and phone number and on the back, it says, don't forget, um, basically, you want to register your 23andMe kit, which to register, you have to put in the numbers that are right here on the barcode, um, and uh, or you have to write down your barcode down here, but you also have to register online, which mine's already registered because I had previously registered, and so when they sent me the second one, they already had it, they already have it in their system. Um, so it comes in this little plastic box here. Um, again, it says register as kit because it's super important. Um, and the sample won't be um, processed until it is registered. Um, so the instructions are, number one, no food or drink for 30 minutes. So I haven't done anything. I haven't brushed my teeth. I haven't eaten anything in over an hour. Um, and then it tells you to fill, number two is fill line. So when you open it up, it has this plastic bag that you're gonna put the tube in. This is the tube. Let's see if I can get it to, and there's the fill line. But you only actually start here and then you fill to here. So it's not really that much spit. Let's see if I can get it to focus a little more. So you're only going from here to here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So, okay, so I have to fill to the line. So let me go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. Back and so, also it's important. It says um, um, spit into the funnel until the amount of liquid saliva, not bubbles, reaches the fill line. So here's the fill line, and then you can see the little bubbles here. See, that's how much spit you have to do. So it's not this whole tube, but just that much. But so you just want to make sure that you go above the fill line and it not be like bubbles down here because then it won't then they will just say oh you didn't provide enough sample you'll need to send in a new one and then there goes another couple of weeks um okay so then step three is close the funnel so there's this liquid right here and it's a little plastic um let me see if i can just bring that up. This. so there's a little plastic um film right there and there's the liquid right there um so anyway so you want to close it and you'll hear that pop and then you'll see the liquid come down and start mixing with your saliva so what you want to do is you want to then hold the tube upright, unscrew the funnel from the tube, and discard. So we are going to unscrew it. 
and use a small cap that's in the plastic box and you're going to close the tube tightly and then shake the capped tube for five seconds. One, two, or one, one thousand, two, one thousand. A few moments later. Five, one thousand. That's probably a little more than five seconds, but so now it looks like this, and you can tell that I had my spit up to here, but now with the extra liquid, it goes all the way up. Um, so you want to place the cap tube into this bag, and sealed bag. I don't know which you do it in the front, in the back. I have no idea. But anyways, it does show that you do want to keep it upright. Having it uh, upright and then with the small tube, not with the big cap still attached. Um, and seal the bag. Do not remove the absorbent pad from the plastic bag. Make sure that the, really make sure that cap is on tight. Okay, so you take off the blue, and then you go ahead and seal, yay. And then, um, that's it. So now I have it back in this box. I'm gonna put it back in here, like this. Now it's all ready, and then you're gonna take off this strip right here, and then you're going to um, seal it back and then put it back in for shipping. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. See, and then you're just gonna push down, press down really well so it's nice and sealed up. And the they already have it pre um pre-packaged so that the tracking number is on there. And I did write down my tracking number. That way I could track and see where it's at um, while it's on its way because previously I didn't. And so then I was just like waiting around. I'm like, where is it? Is it close to being there? And then, so I just had to wait. Okay, so now we go ahead and just put this back into the mailbox and we will wait for probably for a couple of weeks. Um, I'm hoping that this time it works. Um, and if you haven't seen before in my previous video, which I will link down below, I am adopted. So, and I don't know really anything about my birth parents. So, um, I know this won't like necessarily heal that part of my life, but it will give me a little bit of answers on what I am and it's because uh, um, I am Filipina but Filipinos are or Filipinos are made up of a lot of nationalities um, so I'm just curious what I am and that'll be great and then I know that with ancestry or not ancestry 23andMe it that gives you your ancestry and your health previously I only um, registered for health but with the box they sent me, they put health and ancestry. So I was just like, okay, well, maybe they'll let me know, like, more than what I had previously registered for. Um, if you have any questions, um, leave comments below, and then I will um, update and send, or I will make another video in the next couple of weeks once I find out more of, or the reports of what they sent me. All right, you have a great day, and don't forget to subscribe below. That way you will be updated when I find out what I am.